you have waited for this day for at least two months right and you're at the closing table and you're going through all this and then you're wondering to yourself when am i gonna get my money finally right well that's what we're talking about today right after this Sphere Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales. As a Staten Island realtor, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. And I thought today would be a good idea to answer when the seller gets money after closing. You've been through hell. You've prepared your house for sale and then you marketed it and then you had to show it and you had to keep it clean. And then you finally got offers and then you had to deal with accepting an offer and maybe they backed out and now there's another offer and all these crazy things. And then there was the home inspection and then there was the appraisal. And finally, the closing date has been scheduled and you had to pack and do all that and then you had a walkthrough. And now you're sitting at the closing table and you have to sign all of these papers and you're still wondering, when am I gonna get my money? Well, here's how it goes. Once everything is said, signed all the documents are signed by the way i did a video about the house closing process for sellers you can watch that over there it's gonna tell you about all the documents you have to sign but anyway the point is the money has to hit the wire into the bank account in order for you to get paid so somebody has to get a wire if your buyer is getting a mortgage so the money most likely will come to the title closer or the buyer's attorney or your attorney, but that money has to be confirmed that it hit the account and it's readily available to be the distributed to you at the closing table. Everybody has to get paid. So your attorney will have to get paid for their services, your mortgage, if you have one, the title service that you're getting, everybody that you have to pay will have to get paid first. And then after that, the net proceeds will be given to you in a form of a check. If it's an attorney check, the check is good. If you happen to sell your house to a buyer that's paying cash, then the buyer was instructed ahead of time of who to make the checks out and certified checks from the bank and for how much. So yes, you will get your money when everything is signed, everybody's paid. Yeah, you get paid less, but you get the most. However, there is a situation on a very rare occasion that you get paid the next day and so is everybody else. Why? Because the closing happened, maybe it was scheduled later on in the day. Maybe the bank wire did not hit the account yet. We actually call it a dry closing. I guess it's a real estate term. We, we kind of call it, if we had a dry closing, that means we didn't get paid for our services. But a dry closing means that the money didn't hit the account. And therefore it has to be overnight process. And the next day the money would be available and you will get your money at that point. If you're still in the process of just thinking about putting your house for sale, I did a great video about selling a house on Staten Island. You can watch that next right there. It's a great video. It can give you a lot of info or you can watch another video that I did. I try really, really hard to help you navigate the home selling process on Staten Island. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel. I come out here every Monday and do my best for you. And I will see you next Monday.